the official announcement on Ireland's abortion referendum, a resounding yes. So that begins to give you an idea of what has been happening on this island of Ireland. Very welcome to Outside Source. Let us turn to this story. Leaders of South Africa's governing ANC party are meeting to decide the future of President Jacob Zuma. And we hope with the BBC's 100 Women season and their first ever challenge that we will have at least made a dent in that so-called glass ceiling and perhaps to help the next generation of women find a seat at the boardroom table. Um, let's start with the midterm elections. The fallout is still happening over the past 24 hours. I've seen everything from victory to humiliation. Some of the words to describe what has happened. I think the polls, for once perhaps, could be right. Um, I've met lots of yes and no voters, and I've met mainly young people here today, Samantha. What is your sense there in Bordeaux, among voters there, of what they think is at stake in this election? I think what it comes up again and again, you only have to be speaking to people a couple of minutes. And yes, there's economy and jobs and security, which France is often in the headlines for. Well, it was the most unlikely of romances, an aspiring British actor in his 20s and a fading Hollywood star. They cross paths in a London guest house. Their enduring friendship is now the subject of a new movie. It's called Film Stars Don't Die in Liverpool. It's right, well, let's take a look at one that's trending right now. Politicians, they might be used to kissing babies, but Scotland's first minister got more than she bargained for. Here she is, uh, Nicola Sturgeon, taken by surprise after a little baby Grace there threw up on her. And I wonder if May 25th, whatever the outcome, that it might become a catalyst for the people of this country to talk openly to friend and to neighbour and debate what sort of future Ireland that they want to live in.